What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Alexander here, back with some more Bound by Flame. I did start the... Yes, this is it. There's something around here. Where is it? Nope, that's my one. Nope, nope. Ah! There we go. Sybil, can I talk to you? Yes? For you... Okay, no, not yet. The Order of the Freeborn Blades is of great repute, and the mercenary does honor to its name. The mercenary's powers are both astonishing and fascinating. The knight would like to duel with the mercenary, that he may judge the mercenary's strength. Sure. I never turn down a good fight. But maybe we should take it outside. We don't want to break everything in here, do we? The knight is honored and bows to his adversary's wisdom. Wait for me here, Sybil. I won't be long. Oh, now it's time for us to get our butt kicked. Several times until we finally succeed. Oh, because this is fun. <laughs> hopes that his adversary will not hold back her blows. Oh, you can count on it. Oof. That's one of the reasons why. Ow! Stop that! Ah! <laughs> I hate that move in this game. It's nigh unavoidable. This is probably going to be just a whole thing of failure. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Yeah, do. Ooh. Ow. has never before battled an adversary with such power and he believes that she could be that which is needed to change the course of this war you fight pretty good yourself where'd you learn your moves i can't believe you learned to fight like that in this backwater the knight has traveled far and fought many battles he has only lived in this village for a short time what are you doing in the middle of these swamps when you could be making a difference on the battlefield. The knight has fought a great many battles, but he feels he can be more useful protecting those who have nothing left. I have to go. I'm glad we could test each other's metal. It was fun. Before his adversary rushes off to fight other battles, the knight has a question for him. He wishes to know if the Freeborn Blades would like him to join them. 
I'm not the one who decides who joins the company, but I can ask the captain for you. He has thought long on it, and wishes it would be so. Well, that's great. I'll ask him. But I can't promise you anything. All right. Back in. To get our actual assignment. <laughs> Thank the night herd talk. Yeah, the short oh, version is I have a demon living inside of me. A demon? The knight has never heard of such a creature. Should he be worried? That's why you're getting stronger. Now you have. Hey, give us some time. Uh, I have to get rid of it, but you can't help me. Uh. I'm tempted to do the middle one. For now, it's just a voice in my head that doesn't seem to want to hurt me. But if I start spitting fire and attacking everybody, I'm counting on you to do what has to be done. Okay? The knight is honored by the trust placed in him. He will not betray it. Oh, yeah, Randall, we take him with. I'm gonna need him. I for need something. you. Come with me. The knight is proud to be of service. We're gonna need him anyway. Miss Vulcan, what brings you here? The captain wants me to help your village. You got a job I can do? With our shortages of food and fighting men, our worn out equipment and the growing lines at the healing house, I cannot deny our village is sorely in need of help. Sadly, I fear that these are not the sort of problems you are used to dealing with. Unless I'm much mistaken. Maybe I'll surprise you. All right. We'll talk again later. Wait, what are we missing? Miss Vol. I've got a few. Uh. Help. <laughs> I'm just skipping through here. So yeah. Well, I don't like talking to this guy. What? Because uh, basically, we're just gonna get things the running again. I need. Uh, we'll talk again. Are we good? What am I missing? I'm missing something. I need this. Talk to Stuart about Valinor's prowl. I already did that. All right. Uh. Let's go and focus on the problems, and we'll do the rest. Yoink. Sybil? I'd like... What do you want to know? Uh, can you tell me right your order? So then, any result from the study of all these creatures of the swamps? I have discovered a few things about the small chrysalids. They are much faster, but it seems that they can only attack from close up, using their pinchers. I also noticed that the medium-sized chrysalids were slower than small ones, but they, however, can fire tiny projectiles. The sickles have a power that depends on their growth. The biggest ones are the most dangerous. Up close, their attacks can be frenetic and extremely dangerous. They can also leap onto their prey. So, Aeolus is your father. Yes. And yes, he is the leader of the Red Scribes. How handy for you. You are so predictable. Daddy's little girl can do whatever she wants, right? Don't fool yourself. I'm endlessly having to prove myself more than any other scribe. My father doesn't treat me better than the others, and I expect no less from him. Well, at least that explains why you look like you just stepped out of a library. I guess he supports and encourages you? Yes, of course. But I'm big enough to make my own choices. Knowledge fascinates me. And I suppose it would have been like that whoever my father was. There we go. See you later. Make sure there's not anything I'm missing here. Vulcan, you must help me. The prince is dying. 
Well, I'm happy to see that my talents as a doctor are finally being recognized. <laughs> There's no doubt an explosion would cure him of all his ills forever. But I'm yeah. actually thinking about your connections with the Red Scribes. If you could speak to them, it would save me having the Prince's death on my conscience. I wouldn't exactly call myself a friend of theirs, but yeah, I can always give it a try. I'll leave you here. All right. Um, I believe it was... Oh, Sylvan. Hey, right there. Nope, wrong one. Do you have any idea how to wake the Elf Prince up? Unfortunately, I don't. I think I've tried just about every remedy I know, but nothing works. Well, you anything? said just about. I'm guessing that's not by chance. It's true. There's one formula I haven't tried yet. An extremely powerful solution that requires a certain ingredient to make. An ingredient I don't have. What is it? A very virulent poison secreted by the Chrysalid Queen. But be careful you don't mix them up with the ones you usually see. I wanted to go looking for them myself, but the villagers stopped me. They say they're really dangerous. It seems they can be found along the road we took to get here. And apparently, they only come out at night. I'll get you some. I gotta go. We're... Alright. Now we've got to Valvanor. We're going to take care of the... Issues with the recruits first. Get Randival a part of the team, then uh, go back, grab Sybil, and get everything else going. That's the plan, at least. Just before I do anything, I can. One more. Um, I need a helmet. And recycle that for some stuff. Mm. I know it's more armor, but I don't like the helmets in this game. Let's go over here. Fucking mercenaries, right? Fucking mercenary, yeah. Sounds about right. You know what I call your lot? Or blades. And I got no time for oars. I shouldn't my do some good. Same shit, mercenary or whatever. I mean, ethics you sec. At least the whores work. If you've got enough money to get trashed while you're on watch, they pay you too much. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, or blade. Look at this! My favorite fucking troublemaker! Oh, you know. I'm going. Oh, okay. So, I, I get it. We have to actually talk to him about the problems. Uh, I was wondering why it wasn't letting us, uh... Yep. What is that? Don't bother me if I don't find it. Hey, there it is. Ooh, new grease. Wrong button. Then we will recycle these. Okay, now move. So we have to actually talk to the guy before that, unfortunately, but... Whatever. Miss Vulcan. Let's talk. So what's the problem with the healing house? Quite simply, Marana cannot keep up. She spends every waking minute giving out supplies to the refugees and refuses to admit that she cannot help everyone. She thinks she's fooling me. 
I have heard rumors that her food stock is running low. Unsurprisingly, the crowds outside are becoming restless. I believe they wish to continue handing out our food reserves as though they were unlimited. This is not the case, and thus, it is not an option. So, you want someone to put her down? Why, I never suggested any such thing. That's why I hate him. I just wish she would see reason, for all our sakes. Well, I never. But I have asked nothing of you. I was merely answering your question. Your sentries. How can I put this? At first, I thought they were disobeying orders. Now, I think maybe they don't even understand them. If you're stupid and incompetent, you should be digging turnips, not taking care of security. You're beginning to worry me. Is it really that bad? Are you kidding me? The state of their weapons is enough to make you cry. Maybe they'd be good for splitting logs. Personally, I'm not capable of judging the aptitude of our sentries, but their poor results speak for themselves. Doubtless, you should share your observations with Mason, the Chief of the Watch. I should warn you, however, that he is of a somewhat stubborn nature. Wouldn't be the first I've seen. I need the reports about this beast that attacked the villagers. I fear I am unable to be of help. I am still not entirely convinced that it even exists. All I know is that several villagers have vanished. One villager is at present in the doctor's care, following a supposed encounter with the said beast. These swamps are crawling with dangers. There is nothing to suggest anything out of the ordinary. The refugees are always inventing horror stories in an attempt to force us to open our gates and let them inside. It might be worth checking out. You said you lost one of your patrols, right? That is so. You should speak with Randvall. He was most anxious to go out and hunt the beast down, but we needed him here. Now that we have more able bodies to guard our gates, I imagine he would be keen to pick up the scent once more. All right. We'll talk again. Oh, there it is. Ah, the sweet sound of silence. <laughs> I always hate picking that perk, but it's very useful. Especially in the long run. Because the last thing you want to do at the end of the game, at the, in the final boss battle, is not have enough uh, supplies. Please trust me, I've been there. <laughs> ah! really focused on right now is this do I have to spill it out or should I just put my boot would you just shut your stupid mouth for two seconds please the steward sent me here to help you oh that's all I need don't he think I got enough on my plate now he sends me some ore blade from God's nowhere hey as long as it ain't me is paying for you hey you want to help Knock yourself out. I warn you, there's plenty to do. Get to the point before I set a torch to your breath. All right, take it easy. No need to get nasty, eh? You want to help? Yes or no? Keep talking. Well, for a start, you could try and find one of my patrols that's gone missing. At first, I thought maybe one of those halfwits was sleeping it off under a tree somewhere. But it's been a while now. Maybe something bad happened to him in the swamp. I guess I could go back and check. What a coincidence. That's exactly what I was going to ask you. After that, well, I suppose a pro like you, I guess you would be useful helping out the sentries. It won't be luxury. I don't know if you've seen what we're supposed to fight with, but, wow, well, if you can have a word with your quartermaster to see what he can do for my lads, you have my blessing. The benediction of a drunk. Better and better. It's what all us fucking mercenaries dream of. All right, I'll see what I can do. Right, we may be living in the arsehole of Virgil, but 
Being armed like a bunch of tramps, we can do without. And while you're at it, when you've been to the forge, you'll probably feel like letting off steam a bit. Why don't you go and take it out on my lads? What do you mean? Kick their arses so they can't sit down and get drunk instead of patrolling. And show them a couple of tricks while you're at it. A bit of training. Couldn't do no harm. Alright, I'm winning this here, so thank y'all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.